What's up guys? Oliver Nye here. Welcome back to my channel. Got another unboxing for you. Just got out here to the lake, finished setting up uh, some of the bigger setups. But as you can see from Mr. Parker right over my shoulder, he's on a pretty solid finesse pattern. So I need to make sure I'm ready. So I'm going to share with you guys this little mail call unboxing experience with these brand new Daiwa Luvius LT3000 spinning reels. Apparently this is a lighter version of the Surtate. Reels which I've been fishing uh, throughout the 2020 season with great success. got scared. Come on. I know. That was really Burn perfect. it back in and fire it back in where it needs to go. It's not even your bait. Who cares? I, I was worried about <laughs> whose ever boat that is. It's the run boat. Ah, uh, see? Uh -huh. Alright. Oh, wine. Wine, 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 wine. Oh. Wine. Down, down, down. Oh. Nice and easy, bud. Okay, 90 degrees. Okay, there you go. Stay calm. Stay nice and calm. Down. Oh, my man. There you go. Okay, don't mind if it's pulling. Okay, get it around your spine. Okay, you get it. 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 Yes! Is it in there? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> My man! <laughs> Thanks, Oliver. Yes! Woo! Yeah, hell yeah! Be honest, are you starting to lose faith a little bit? No! I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, ooh, pluck, pluck. Right at that. Hit the, hit, hit the dock. Hit the dock, you say. <laughs> I love it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been catching a lot of big small mouth, some nice large mouth, uh, and uh, hopefully continue to catch some big large mouth here in sunny Southern California. So I'm going to pull a couple of these brand new reels out of the box, rig them up, fill them with some braid, put them on my uh, rods here, and have a couple of finesse oriented options to go with some of the bigger stuff like a six inch mag draft I've got rigged up. Defiant 247. Got a spinner bait and an eye by shed on the other rod so we're doing a little bit of what we call trash fishing. Our lakes here in Southern California aren't really big enough to uh, develop patterns uh, as commonly as you would find in some of the bigger reservoirs throughout the country. So kind of learn how to maximize opportunities in small areas and catch them as many different ways as possible. So uh, hence the trash fishing and the versatility of the guys that come from uh, the West Coast. So big shout out to all my West Coasters. Okay, just, uh, some of you guys may ask why am I going with a 3000 size like you guys you don't need that kind of line capacity and you're right I don't what I do want is the bigger diameter spool for that line to fly off less friction longer casts and generally uh, the bigger reels uh, have a faster line pickup this is a 5 2 to 1 gear ratio okay 7 ounce reel it's got 22 pounds of drag on this thing, uh, and it's a uh, it's an incredibly smooth, uh, smooth reel here. So I've actually got two spinning rods I've brought with me that we're gonna rig up. One is actually a trout series, the great hunting weapon that I just got from Ben at the Hookup Tackle for my first ever trip to the Mammoth and Crowley area up in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. Then I also have Gen 1 Levante Shaky Head Special, which is always, it's been one of my favorite spinning rods. 
real versatile. I'm probably gonna put something really small and light uh, on the longer great hunting rod. This is a seven foot seven action or a seven foot seven long uh, rod. Pretty similar specs to the USA Destroyer Flissa. So that's gonna do real nicely for me here uh, with the finesse setups. And then uh, I'm probably gonna put maybe an underspin or a screw head or maybe even a small jerk bait like a 110 Junior or an X80 uh, to match a hatch. These fish out here are fishing, or these fish out here have been keying in on both silver sides and smaller thread fin shad. So that's why I wanted to make sure I got a couple of these reels from Ben. Uh, if you guys are interested in them, support him directly by going to the link in the description below. He continues to support us, which allows us to continue to do this for you guys. So, with that 3,000 size spool, obviously it's going to hold a lot of line. So, here's something I do on pretty much all my reels. I don't normally put on more than 100 to 150 yards of fresh line. So I'm just gonna put on some backing. And what I have here is just a big spool of bulk monofilament that I use for some of my big bait applications. And all that's gonna do is just eat up some space. Okay, tie a San Diego knot. Draw that down. And I'm gonna fill this thing approximately, no, approximately three quarters full. I'm always going to put some tension on this thing and with 22 pounds of drag you can really lock that down and wind this line on under pressure to get it on there as tight as you can okay then when I do need to swap line uh, I'm not wasting an entire spools worth of line it keeps me a little bit more frugal more efficient with my money Let's me buy more tackle from Ben. So this is actually like a 35 pound monofilament. So this is nice because it's actually gonna eat up that that deep spool pretty quickly. And now that's kind of brought to uh, it's brought it to a level where you consider consider it a shallow style spool. Okay. Trim that off. Splice to it some 19 pound, 20 pound braid. Testing out some new lines here. Are going to be seeing me use more of this stuff in 2021 and forward, but I'm just going to join it via an Alberto knot. We'll do another breakdown video of how we tie this thing. I'm a six wrap up, six wrap down Alberto guy. Okay, it's always key to go back through the way you came. Lubricate your knot. Draw down on all four tag ends evenly until it's about three quarters of the way tight. And then drop the tag ends and draw it 100% tight. That's going to cinch down nicely. Okay. Now the key with these Alberto knots for me and keeping them from unraveling is taking the tag end of the braid and tying an overhand knot or what the fancy guys call a half hitch twice just like that that'll keep that from unraveling Get yourself a good pair of cutters trim off the excess trim off the excess now why would you need 22 pounds of drag well the greatest benefit of having that much drag capability is the fine tuning you can have on that range now, I didn't get these reels in time for my mammoth trip, and we're fishing rainbows, cut throat, and bigger browns on fairly light tackle. Uh, there was a point where we had to drop down to five pound leader to get bit, and we fished the $29.99 price range Daiwa Crossfires because that's all I could get my hands on the day before our trip. And they, for 30 bucks, man, it's pretty incredible what those reels are. But when you're accustomed to these higher end, higher range spinning reels with a, a vast or a greater range of drag settings, it was kind of tough to get just enough drag pressure for that five pound without it being too loose and import, most importantly, without it being too tight. 
So you're going to have a much broader range of drag pressure with these higher end reels. And that's important when you're targeting big bass on light tackle. Finesse isn't mutually exclusive to big bass. Hey! Huh? How's that? This may be... This may be arguably uh, the best mail call video you guys have ever seen. Huh? We're doing things a little different out here. What's up, Paka? Hey, you First decent one of the day. Not bad. Okay. 20, minutes, 20 minutes into the session, finally get one. But just kind of hit it really hard. And I think it's because I got him in the side, kind of. Crushed it, huh? Yeah, that was fun. How important is your drag setting? Very. On your finesse fishing? Very, very, very. Looks like it, you've got a guy with the tula. Yes. I, uh, I mess with the drag a lot, especially even when I'm fighting the fish, too. Oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah, yeah. Started out a little bit stronger, and then they, they make a run. You just click it down, and... Uh, it's, like, it's super important to have it like easy access just and like he was saying um, a lot of adjustments because in the heat of the moment you want to make that quick movement you don't want to loosen it all the way up and then boom your fish is gone you know you want micro adjustments but um, yeah let's get this guy unhooked really quick proof is in the pudding guys all right and, and those higher end reels are gonna allow us to uh, be in Full control. Of course, when you know you got a nice keeper like that on, but most importantly, when you got potentially the biggest bass you've ever seen on a wimpy spinning rod and a little spinning reel. Okay, so even though we're fishing finesse techniques, doesn't mean we're targeting small fish. This is Southern California, man. Those fish will get keyed in on little baits, and unless you're matching profile, matching the hatch, uh, you might not stand a chance at getting the hook into the mouth of one of these big, educated, conditioned fish. Alright, so I'm going to repeat the process on that other Luvius. I'm sold on these bad boys here. Probably going to let Parker play with one today. Yeah. See what he thinks of the reel. But uh, it's already proven itself to me. So it's given me the confidence to continue to outfit my arsenal with more of them. And they're a solid investment. I believe they're $389.99. Okay, so you're getting pretty much all the features of the highest tiers of spinning reels in the fishing game um, at a fairly reasonable price. And some of you guys be, be looking at this video and looking at me like, what's this guy talking about? Because a younger version of me would have been like, bro, you're crazy. I went spinning. 389.99 on a spinning reel. Well, things change, man. Aim high, dream big. Work harder to work smarter. Leverage your way into the best gear you guys can. All right, so big shout out to Ben. Thank you, Ben, for getting this to me uh, in a timely fashion. In the meantime, if you guys want to see more fish catches from this man right here, subscribe to his channel. Follow him on the gram. Uh, we'll leave that information in, in the description below. Subscribe to my personal channel here. And uh, as always, subscribe to the Big Bass Dreams channel. We're going to show you guys uh, some of the actual fishing from this day on the Big Bass Dreams channel. So make sure you guys are tuned in and got all your notifications turned on. I'm Oliver Nye. Thanks for watching. We're out. You a keyboard pirate, my man. That's how the lot track is. Kiss the bitch, you catch fish. Get them in the net quick. Cast for another stick. That real deal, raw uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag hit. It's to make a catch fish, get him in the net quick, cash for another step. That real deal, raw uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My Medium light, hit. graphite for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop, and the school ignites, pinning them down.